we now have Dr. Niladri Seth, Assistant Professor in the Computer Science and Engineering Department to talk about the Coding Club of the University. He has published few journals and conference papers and is also a researcher in social network analysis and clinical, critical data, clinical data analytics. Now I request Dr. Niladri Seth, sir, to give us more insights on the Coding Club at SRMAP. Over to you, sir. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, sir. Along with uh, Dr. Niladri said, we also have Dr. Sandeep Chattopadhyay, yes, sir. And yes. we also have one of our students, your own senior, G. Lakshmi Sai Bhargavi. They'll be sharing this session with you. Niladri, yes. sir, over to yes. you. Yes. Am I audible? Yes, you're audible and visible. Yes. Okay. Uh, is my screen visible? Yes, sir. It is visible, sir. You can go ahead. Okay. So, uh, uh, hello, everybody. Good morning, my dear students. Uh, welcome to SRM University AP. Uh, I am Dr. Nilad Riset, the uh, chairperson of coding club of SRM AP. Uh, with me, I am having Dr. Subhendu Chattavadhyay. A faculty advisor of the coding club and Lakshmi, one of your own seniors and a student representative of uh, the coding club. In this orientation program, we will let you know what is the coding club, what it does, and uh, ultimately will motivate you to take part into its activities. You can also write your uh, queries in the comment box. We'll get one. Okay, so let us start. Now, uh, as you are newly joined students and you may not have any idea about coding, before uh, take, talking uh, about coding up, uh, let me brief about what uh, programming or coding is. Okay. Now, informally, uh, computer programming is a process, is the process that professionals use to write code that interacts, uh, uh, that, that instructs how a computer application or software program perform. Okay. Now, the code is essentially some uh, instructions to the computer. Okay. Now, the computer have to perform certain tasks following these instructions. Now, these instructions are written using some language. These languages are called programming languages. Okay, so like C, C++, Java, and those languages. You learn these languages uh, during your stay at uh, SRME. Okay. Now, uh, let us take, an, I guess, uh, take a simple example. Say, uh, I'm teaching a class of 60 students. I want to know which student has scored the highest mark. Okay. For that, I can write a program myself. So using some language, say C, C++ or anything. Then I can also use some other tools or softwares, say spreadsheet. Okay. So Microsoft Excel is one such spreadsheet. Now, so uh, using this Excel, I can also do this job. Now, Excel is a bigger software, which consists of a lot of pro programs and uh, documentation and some other stuff. Now, it can be used for many other tasks like uh, uh, sorting the scores into ascending order or descending order, then uh, getting the average score, etc. So a number of programs, not one, not a single program. So many programmers can collaborate to write this software, okay? Where each of them may use some, uh, each of them can implement some particular tasks, okay? What they have been assigned. So, so they can also use multiple programming technologies. So this is essentially how programs are written to build softwares. Now, uh, who use this program? 
everybody, like everybody who are in this field, STEM. STEM means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So everybody who are from this field, they need to write some program, okay? Sometimes. Now, uh, let us give some examples. So, so uh, why computer science, computer science uh, graduates will uh, learn coding is very evident, very trivial. But what about other engineering or science streams? So they also need to learn coding or programming. Why? Because uh, in every STEM fields, we do some design and simulation. So mechanical engineer will uh, need to design something or simulate some uh, like experiment. So they will not do real experiments, but they will use computer software to simulate that environment. Okay. So for that, they will use software or they can build the software, like to build that software, that domain knowledge of uh, that field, that mechanical or electrical or say you, you need to uh, uh, make a signal processing software or signal processing simulator. So for that, the uh, EC background student will write the program or they will be the domain expert. So everybody in this field. So let us uh, think about one uh, medical, uh, medical med one uh, problem in medicine, say drug discovery. So in one lab, you have discovered one drug. Now you have to understand what is the efficacy of that drug. So you have to administer that drug to several patients or, or uh, who are not patients. So whether this drug is working for that, you also have to do some statistical analysis. So that thing you have to do using software or you have to write some computer program to do that. Okay. So you must learn some programming. Now, uh, what a programmer should know? A programmer should know few basic courses, basic uh, like fundamentals of computer science, such as you have to uh, know what algorithm is. Algorithm is the procedure which you follow to write your program. Then uh, what is data structure? How you will store the data? How you will organize the data? So th that way you have to know some fundamentals. You have to know the hardware basics. Hardware basics means the uh, like the hardware of the computer. Say what is processor? How that works? How the memory works? To write your uh, write efficient program. So so which can do the task very efficiently. Now, uh, coding is a must to excel in your career. Okay, so if you have to build a successful career in any any field, if you go for higher study, if you join some job, okay, so some software industry or anywhere, if you in your career, everywhere you will need coding. So you must excel in coding. Uh, during your this undergraduate uh, degree, okay. So now let us uh, move towards coding club. So uh, actually, uh, before going to SRMP coding club, let us just say what is coding club. Now in SRMP, this is an academic institution. Okay. Now it is a platform for student to excel in life so it is it is not only academic institution here you do a lot of co-curricular activities along with uh, doing your course okay course work so okay? so you get involved into those activities and these activities help you in building your communication skills uh, entrepreneurship skills and overall character okay now this this building process will equip you with the skills to handle any critical situation in life which you face okay and uh, to shine in your professional life 
Now coding is such a co-curricular activity in the scope of coding club. Okay. Now in coding club, we project the coding as a hobby or fun activity, just like music, drama, etc. Okay. Now uh, you are you all are going to be an engineer. So uh, just like any other crafts, coding is also a craft where you build some things or some stuff. Now, any craft requires a medium. For drama, the medium is acting. For uh, sculpting, the medium is stone, clay, or metals, etc. Likewise, the medium for coding is programming language. Coding club will uh, let you uh, like let you interact among yourselves and get involved into building software. Now, uh, what is SRM AP Coding Club? Here, a bunch of highly enthusiastic students okay, of our university who are uh, enthusiastic about programming has formed the SRM AP Coding Club. Now their aim, what they say, their aim is to learn the art of coding and increase the joy of programming. Now the goal of this club is to cherish the appetite for learning modern technologies and save them through programming. Okay. Now uh, let me uh, brief about what are the activities uh, are performed in our SRM AP coding club? So uh, most important activity is competitive coding. So in this competitive coding, coding platform, so there will be some problems given and you have to solve that problem. Okay, so, so there will be some competition which will be held. So, so this competitive coding in our SRM AP coding club is handled by one uh, CoreSafe chapter. So CoreSafe is one platform. So Lakshmi Bhargavi will give you a brief introduction of this competitive coding which goes on in that CoreSafe platform after I finish this lecture. So, so so another important activity is lecture series. We, uh, the coding club students, uh, invite uh, eminent coders, okay? So who present some lecture about their experience, to share their experience in coding. Uh, they also uh, like uh, give some brief overview of new, new technologies. So in this lecture series. Next is thrust area identification. Thrust area identification means some students may love uh, programming in some certain platforms or some students may like certain new technologies or they can be uh, interested to do research on some particular area. So, so we, the coding club essentially helps those students to identify the uh, thrust area and uh, uh, help them coding in that particular thrust area. Then uh, coding club arranges a lot of fun activities like puzzle, puzzle solving using programs, then uh, game development, etc. Now uh, coding club also organizes some workshops uh, on uh, cutting edge technologies like uh, there can be cloud technologies, there can be uh, the new technologies which has been introduced in wave technologies. So this kind of workshops uh, happens in this coding club. Another thing is that the coding club provides a platform to the students to assist okay, uh, in their course project, capstone projects or casual coding. Like Whatever coding issues you face during your stay in SRM AP, you can 
communicate that issue to other students okay through some media so we are building one model platform okay to give you that uh, collaborative assistance okay so so this kind of things happens then uh, the coding club also invites alumni to interact with the current students so uh, they get some insights from the alumni what they have faced uh, uh, the in uh, what issues they have faced in the university and as they have passed through uh, the like environment of srm university here how can you culture yourself in a better way so those things also you will get in this coding club coding club also uh, 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 like uh, ties off with some professional organizations such as iit acm which also provides some uh, like uh, pro like coding competitions and some coding activity so so coding club also has access to those professional organizations so this is all about our coding club activities now we are visible in web so you can visit this website uh, then uh, you can also check the twitter handle and a linkedin uh, linkedin page of the coding club as well as the whatsapp srmp chapter which uh, hargavi will uh, introduce to you okay so uh bhargavi please uh, take over okay so so yeah. thanks a lot miladri sir yeah thank My screen was blue. Not yet, Lakshmi. Is it visible now? Yes. Ma? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Lakshmi from uh, SRMAP Code Chef Chapter, where we help you decode uh, competitive code. So you might be having some questions, like what exactly is competitive coding? So competitive coding or competitive programming is uh, a place where uh, globally you compete with uh, each other in uh, solving several different uh, problems with, with the help of programming languages. So it's a, a mind uh, puzzle mostly, which is uh, solved by a lot of uh, people who love coding and programming. So what uh, do we have like as the add-on packages of competitive programming you get to feel the fun in coding it helps you uh, build a quite a good uh, platform for your career uh, a great foundation it helps you improve your skills uh, analytical abilities critical thinking and helps you solve complicated problems all with the help of simple programming codes so what is the aim of this SRM AP course of chapter? We bring in a community of feeling in front, uh, in front of everyone, and we help you decode competitive programming, uh, build in uh, new skills with the help of uh, technical uh, algorithms and data structures. We bring in awareness with uh, us uh, about a lot of programs uh, and competitions worldwide. We help you to understand several uh, different approaches to the same problem. And we help uh, you to involve yourselves into programming and uh, make it a fun event. Also, uh, we aim uh, at having the community together. So you don't have to make the same mistake as your peers to learn from it. Uh, because we are together, we learn from each other's uh, experiences and help improve ourselves. So what exactly is CodeChef? CodeChef is a platform where uh, all the competitive uh, programming contests are held. 
and uh, I'll just show you how exactly it looks. So this is the page of Porsche where there is a question with the description. Uh, the description involves the pro uh, detailed explanation of how the problem works. Uh, and you can have the submissions for the given problem as a part of your uh, solutions. And uh, you can see others uh, submissions also so as to compare how well you are doing in your coding. And uh, this is the uh, place, this is the IDE uh, development area where you code in several different programming languages. Uh, there are around 85 to 90 programming languages, but the most uh, used programming languages are C, C++, Python and Java. These are the most popular ones, the others are also there. So uh, CodeChef conducts several uh, events, which are uh, short and long events called as uh, lunch times and uh, long challenges. So uh, the events can be of uh, three hours or for a couple of days. The most important point is the uh, platform is completely free. So anyone can access it any point of time. Uh, we uh, at CodeChef also uh, conduct a lot of webinars uh, worldwide uh, and na national wide by the people who are exceptional coders or are from um, or have the experience into coding in the past 10 or 15 years and we also help you uh, to participate in global competitions like icpc so i'll tell you what exactly icpc is uh, so these are uh, basically the most important uh, prestigious competitions which are held uh, ACM ICPC, Google Code Jam, and Google Kickstart are the major ones. These are the global uh, competitions where you can participate and explore your um, interest into competitive programming. The latest activities and achievements of the chapter, uh, we conduct uh, regular uh, seminars, um, uh, CP talks, CP is competitive programming talks by one of our professors, Murli Krishna sir. Then we had the reviews of uh, several contests and uh, long challenges. Uh, the most recent one is the July uh, long challenge, and we had the discussion about it. Uh, even today, the DSA marathon series is going on. DSA is data structures and algorithms. So we uh, help you learn and uh, test your skills of data structures in this. We are planning it for seven days as of now. And the achievements, uh, the latest achievement which we have is uh, that uh, our college uh, members have represented us uh, at the ICPC Amrita Puri Regionals. Uh, the team consisted of Sindhu Mohit and Sahiti Priya. There are several coders uh, with uh, very good ratings, uh, including three, two and one stars and uh, even upcoming coders. Around uh, 90 plus students are there of two stars and 10 students are there of three stars. And we have a lot of uh, budding coders who are kickstarting their coding journey. We all help them to improve and um, if we, uh, create a more efficiency in their codes. So as of now, we are a community of 150 people. If you guys join, it will be much more. And uh, why do we, you have to be the part of this chapter? I've been telling you all the important points that what's competitive coding, why do you, uh, what are the achievements? So these all reflect uh, how important we take coding uh, into our culture and why you should be participating because we help you to uh, engage with each other and uh, share the new approaches uh, to the same problem so that uh, you'll have multiple ideas and your horizon of uh, coding uh, approaches will increase. And we have regular check-ins and meetups for uh, discussing uh, what are the problems and we come up with solutions. Uh, and we also organize several events by ourselves and with the help of CodeChef, which includes uh, new competitions, uh, uh, coding events, then there are seminars and webinars also. No, last but not the least, increase your coding ability by participating in many contests. I would quote one of my professors who always says that coding is like swimming. So uh, if you are watching swimming, you won't be able to do anything unless and until you jump into the water yourself. So for, uh, for understanding coding, you will have to dive into the coding world and try, practice and improve yourself.
So this is the chapter uh, link. If you want to become the member, I'll share this link uh, in the chat for you guys. Uh, there will be a very simple form to fill, uh, which will have the name, roll number, email address, and contact details. And for the informal uh, connection with us, uh, we have the Discord server where you can connect to us anytime. And we'll be updating you about the further competitions and events which will come up. So the core uh, team members which are leading the core chef chapter as of now are uh, Mohit as president, Pavan Kumar as CP lead, Tejeshwar as event lead, and Omkar as media and outreach lead. Omkar is a second year student uh, and he's still stepping up. So we also encourage our juniors to come up. Seniors here uh, are uh, very uh, helpful into influencing uh, juniors to uh, pursue coding and help them uh, in the problems they are facing. So we all welcome you to SRMAP and uh, we'll be uh, glad to have you in the coding club. Uh, so I'm ready for questions and doubts if you right Lakshmi quite a lot the first one uh, which language would you uh, suggest us to start with if you want to uh, start with uh, Lakshmi can you check your uh, I don't there is some noise coming up from there yeah better now thank you dear. Yeah, that, now that's good. So Python is mostly considered to be uh, like uh, more preferable these days. Uh, Python uh, is uh, easy to understand and has less syntactical things. So uh, as of now, I'll be preferring uh, Python as a first language. Then you can go into C, C++, and Java. You'll have it in the curriculum one by one. So most preferably Python and C, C++. Which programming languages are we taught in a study? Uh, all the four I've mentioned as of now uh, are there. And sir, if you want to continue, you can. Right. Datatreya, I think Lakshmi has already mentioned yeah. how to join uh, the coding club. I I have a few words. Uh, yeah. yeah. Actually, dear students, uh, you are uh, free to do anything. Like you can use any language. So here, coding club is like you will enjoy coding and it is just fun. Okay, so so we will not restrict you. So you will learn coding in your uh, curriculum. You will learn C, C++, then uh, Python, Java, these programming languages you will learn. You will learn data structure, you will learn database, many things you will learn. So this is, this coding club is for co-curricular activities. So here you will, whatever you learn, you will enjoy coding here. So you you will uh, nurture yourself like the way you, you, you want, that way you will go. Okay, so, so this way you will also get a uh, feeling of this uh, competitive coding, what Lakshmi just said. So watch whatever language you like, you can go through, go through that and you can, you can learn new languages. So new technologies, anything you can do. So this is not restricting you. This is uh, making your horizon wider okay so whatever questions you have written here i have noted these questions i will uh, i will uh, just uh, send you an email from coding club and i will give you more information okay you can also visit the uh, website and you can join coding club i will send you the link so just get involved into this coding club activities as you are just beginning okay your curriculum so just gradually you will learn everything and you will see how to get fun of this that's it. okay thank you are you sharing the mail id sir so that they can uh, uh, i will send one email to group email to the first year students all right. okay so all so right. yeah all right, children, I think that solves all your problem. Whatever queries you have, that could be sent to the mail ID, which you'll be receiving pretty soon. And all your queries relating to coding can be sorted out of there. Now, uh, I think we'll take just a couple of uh, more questions before we hand it over to next class. Um, Lakshmi, is there any specific book which uh, can help students begin with? Uh, Ma'am, we uh, actually 
are uh, focusing more on the online uh, platforms like online links which are available because buying book may be a problem for the people who are living like uh, to have the physical books as of now is a little difficult during the pandemic time so we'll be providing certain uh, links of uh, resources there are uh, some uh, very good uh, websites which have uh, like detailed orientation towards the programming language which can be used uh, by the students absolutely wonderful Right, children. I think Lakshmi has kind of summed it up uh, very, very uh, easily for all of you. And as Sir has said, uh, the link, uh, the mail ID will be sent to you uh, to your mail ID. And uh, whatever queries you have regarding coding, would send it out there, and all your queries will be answered. I think uh, with that, we come to the end of coding session. Yeah.